I'm going to show you the best free and unlimited VPN you can use for Argentina. However, if you're specifically looking for Argentine servers, I'll also show you another free VPN with IP addresses specifically from Argentina. Let's start with Proton VPN because it is the most secure free VPN. It's open source, has a strict no logs policy that's been audited, and is based in Switzerland, the country with the strictest data protection laws in the world. It has good speeds, works on any device and operating system, and can even be installed on a router. To get Proton VPN, you need to go to the free version page. I've left the direct link in the description that will take you to this page. Then click here where it says, Get Proton VPN Free. Here you enter your email address to create a free account. Then download the software and install it like any other application. Once installed, log in with the email and password of the free account you created and this is its interface. Connecting is very easy. Just click here on Quick Connect. It will automatically connect to the fastest server in one of the five available countries, United States, Japan, Netherlands, Poland, or Romania. But here, under Change Server, you can randomly rotate between different IP addresses, servers, and countries. But you have to wait one and a half minutes between each change. Although Proton VPN's free version is very good, its premium version is obviously much better. With more than 4,900 high-speed servers in 91 countries you can connect to, including Argentina. It unlocks all streaming platforms, has specialized servers for torrenting, and comes with an ad, tracker, and malware blocker. But if you need a free VPN that specifically has IP addresses from Argentina, Tuxler VPN is another alternative. It's a free and unlimited residential VPN with 300,000 IP addresses in 116 countries to choose from, including Argentina. With Tuxler VPN's free version, you can bypass any geo restriction, IP blocks, and internet censorship. It's also compatible with peer to peer, so it supports torrent downloads. Yes, it has many advantages, but be careful, it also has disadvantages, such as a questionable privacy and security policy. It's only available for Windows and Mac. It doesn't have mobile device apps. It's quite slow, and it only allows 10 location changes per day. If you want more details, I've left the full review in the video description. To get Tuxler VPN, we do it from its official page. In this case, I have Windows, so I will select Windows. Then I click where it says, Download for free. We wait for the installer to download, and then, like we did with Proton VPN, click here, then click Accept, then Next, Next, and it's installing. Now click on Finish. And this is the Tuxler VPN interface. To connect, click here, and as you see, it connects automatically and randomly. But here, you can choose Argentina. And by clicking here, you can also change the city. However, it changes randomly. The ability to select a specific city is only available with the premium plan. To disconnect, we do it the same way we connected, click here, and that's it, we have our real IP address back. Another VPN that has Argentina among its list of free countries is Privado VPN. It's a secure VPN, respectful of privacy, with a zero logs policy. It works on any device, but its free plan is well hidden. The link in the description will take you to this page where you need to click here where it says, Get Privado VPN. Scroll down a bit and click here, where it says, Try Free Plan. It will try to convince you by showing you all the features of the premium plan, but do the same. Scroll down and click on Continue with Free. Here, you can finally choose the free plan, and in this box, enter your email address, and then click on Create Your Free Account. Then you'll need to verify your email, download the software, and install it. By clicking here, you'll find a list of 12 locations you can connect to for free, including Argentina, but with a limit of 10 gigabytes per month. I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.